Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Mark from Tech Talk America, and this is the first class in my new WordPress theme tutorial series, focusing specifically on a theme that I really love called X. Now, as many of you know, besides working with David at Tech Talk America, I also own Big Blue Designs, where I do web and graphic design. I originally started this series to help my website clients learn more about how to manage their own websites, but then we quickly realized that many in the Tech Talk America audience would benefit from these classes as well. So if you're getting ready to build a website using WordPress, you're going to want to start with a great theme. And I think that the X theme by ThemeCo is one of the best choices you can make for just about any website that you want to build. You can check it out at theme.co slash X. And if you want to buy a copy of your own, I put a link in the description of this video that will take you directly to ThemeForest where you can get one for yourself. This theme is amazing and the page builder that they've created called Cornerstone is absolutely revolutionary when it comes to building a website easily and quickly. So if you're watching this class, I'm going to assume that you already have WordPress installed on your server and you're ready to install X. So locate the files that you downloaded from ThemeForest and let's jump right into installing X. So the very first thing you want to do is go and find that file that you got when you downloaded X from ThemeForest and it's going to look something like this. And when you unzip that file, you're going to find a number of different files and folders inside there. But the two that we're specifically looking for to use today are called x.zip and xchild.zip. Once you've located those two files, we're ready to install your new X theme on your website. So once you found those, go ahead and log into your dashboard and go over to the left side and hover over Appearance and click on Themes. Once that opens, click on Add New at the top and then Upload Theme. And here we're going to browse and find those two files I just talked about, the x.zip and the xchild.zip. So first of all, click Choose File and then go ahead and upload x.zip and click Install Now. And then when that finishes, it's going to ask you if you want to activate that theme or if you want to go back to the main themes page. We're not going to activate that. We're going to go back to the main themes page. So right here, after it's all done, it says theme installed successfully. Go back and click on return to themes page. And then we're going to install the child theme. Now, I'm just going to make this really simple for you and not get technical. A child theme exists so that you can make updates to things like HTML and PHP without the fear of an update to the parent theme overriding those changes that you made. Now, a lot of you out there are going to say, I'm never going to make that kind of updates because I don't get into that or I don't know how to do that. You know what? That's great. I'm not a huge uh, expert when it comes to some of that either, but I highly recommend that you go ahead and install a child theme right now, regardless of what you think you might do in the future, because this would save you a lot of headache going forward. So just trust me on this. Go ahead and click Add New again, and click Upload Theme, and choose File again, and this time choose the X Child theme. Install Now. And then when that comes back, we're going to activate the child theme by clicking Activate. And at this point, congratulations, you are all done installing X. Now in the future videos that I make here shortly, I'm gonna show you how to validate the product and how to get into customizing and building your own website. But for now, you are all done installing your theme and you're ready to start building your website using X.